A very warm welcome to Adda 247, the official YouTube channel of Bankers Adda and SSCAdda.com. Now we have already discussed certain rules related to subject verb agreement. Let's discuss some more. So the first goes like this. If we have two nouns joined by and both are preceded by an article. In this case, the verb used should be in plural form. Now, if we take an example, the actor and the singer has arrived. So, this sentence will be incorrect. Why? I told you if we have two subjects, that is actor and singer joined by and preceded by an article, it should follow a plural verb and we have placed a singular verb here which is incorrect. So, what will be placed is have. Now, we have an exception to this rule. If we have an article before the first noun, but we don't have an article before the second noun, what will we do is we will use a singular verb here. For example, if I write this sentence, the actor and singer has arrived. So, this sentence is correct here. Why? Now, I told you we have first noun actor, second is singer joined by and we have an article before the first subject. In this case, we have used has and which is correct. Why is it so? We, when we are placing an article before both the nouns or both the subjects, it uh, represents two different identities. That is why we are using a plural verb here. But here we are writing article in front of only the first subject. In this case, it represents only one identity and that is why we use a singular verb here. If we move forward to the next rule, it says if we have many a uh, or a great many in the beginning of the sentence. So, many a uh, follows a singular form of verb and a great many follows a plural form of verb. Now, if we take an example, many a uh, soldiers have met his death on the battlefield. So, this sentence will be incorrect. Why? I told you when we have many a uh, in the beginning of the sentence, the soldiers that is the noun or the subject should be in singular form. So, what we will write is soldier. Next, have is a plural verb and I told you it should be what? It should be singular. So, what we will write has and similarly, the pronoun used with many a uh, should be singular as well. If we move forward, we have one more sentence that is a great many people were present at the meeting. So, if we look at this sentence, we have a great many in the beginning of the sentence. So, what will we do is use noun plural and the verb that will be used is plural as well. Now, here we have used words. So, this sentence is correct. Now, if we move forward to the next rule, it says if we have an unfulfilled condition which contains words like if, as if, as though, even if. So, the word used or we can also add one more word that is wish. If we have any of these words used in a sentence with an unfulfilled condition, if we have to be form of verb that I already told you is, is, am, are, was, were, or will, shall. In this case, the verb used after it should be in plural form, be it the subject is singular or plural. For example, if I uh, write a sentence, she behaves as if she is my boss. So, this sentence will be incorrect. Why? I told you if we are using as if here, the verb used should be in plural form which uh, says we should write are here and they should be in past tense as well. So, what we will do is 
she behaves as if she were my boss this is the correct statement now moving forward to the next rule it says if we have a number of a large number of or number of in this condition the noun used should be plural and the verb used should be plural as well but contradicting this statement if we have the number of in a sentence it follows noun in plural form but the verb used should be in singular form now if we take examples it says a large number of students were present there now we have a plural noun here and a plural verb as well if we take this this example the number of absentees are rising this year so in this sentence i told you noun use should be in plural form but the verb use should be singular so what we'll write is is the number of absentees is rising this year now if we move forward to the seventh rule it says if in a sentence we have only one auxiliary and two main verbs are given with it first main verb and second main verb in this condition the auxiliary will be used with the first main verb or with the second main verb so i would say it follows with both of them for example if i write a sentence now if we take an example 25 candidates have passed and one failed now in this condition we have two main verbs given the first is passed and the second is failed now with passed we have used one auxiliary that is have but we have not used any auxiliary with fail which means this sentence is incorrect if we have to make the sentence correct what we'll do is add an auxiliary here as well so according to 25 candidates we used a plural verb and with one we'll use a singular verb which says has should be placed here so the correct sentence is 25 candidates have passed and one has failed now the last rule says if we have single main verb in a sentence that means we have only one main verb given and we have two auxiliary first auxiliary and second auxiliary in this case the main verb will be used with the first one or with the second one the same follows with this main verb will be used with the first and the second one according to its tense now if we take an example it says she has never and will never do this now if we look at this sentence we have two auxiliaries given first is has and second is will now if we look at the main verb we have only one main verb and that is do according to the rule we should place a main verb here as well so according to will we use the first form of do that is do but if we talk about has it uses the third form of verb which says she has never done and will never do this if you like this video do give it a thumbs up like our facebook page subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to download our adda 247 app from play store to be up to date you can also join our various branches all over india thank you